up to the guy's fishing. Good morning and welcome back to another episode of The Ghost Fishing. So today um, I'm doing my second episode of uh, Free Life Bait. Um, basically this is a good one for families and you can also do it with your kids, they love it. Um, today I'm chasing potty mullet the original way. Um, I was going to use the rod that John Ford sent me but I will do that in the next video as not everyone has access to one of those so today I'm just using my original rod that I usually use um, this has got four pound on it so I'll use it you can use any rod so long as you have light enough line to cast the small bits of bread that you're going to cast out also if you need extra weight you can add a float um, I'm also going to be using these, they're a size 12 Detachi hook. Um, any size 12 or smaller is perfect for potty mullet. Basically the other stuff you need is a bag of bread, burley and what we're using for bait. You'll also need um, an aerator, you can buy these from your tackle store or any shop that sells fishing equipment for around 17 to maybe $40 for a really good one um, and also a bucket to keep your liveies in especially if you want to save these for a later tide if you got them in the morning um, you can use them for a low tide maybe later that day or yeah, vice versa get them in the morning on low tide and I do find they're around more on the high tide my only tip with chasing potty mullet and um, especially at boat ramps is I find that there are a lot more potty mullet around when you have a week where the seas have been really good and the fishermen have been going out sea and outside and catching a lot of fish and when they're filleting them and throwing them into the water if the filleting tables on the boat ramp that seems to attract potty mullet that week a lot more than days when there's been no fishing outside at all so We'll get into it and um, I hope you enjoy the vid. I enjoy it. So I'm just tying on that little detachi now with a simple blood knot. Um, they're hard sometimes because they're such small hooks that we'll get there. This is four pound. Um, the lighter the line, the easier to cast the bread. So that's the tiny little hook that we're using. Um, we're sight fishing them today, so I'll show you that as we go. So the first thing we're going to do is get some water in this bucket. Make sure we got water for them when we get them. My other tip is make sure you get a bucket with a lid because um, they tend to jump out and they will die if you're not looking. Okay, so we've got our aerator. We'll dip him in, clip him to the side. Now that's all ready to turn on as soon as you get potty mullet so they get oxygen. Um, I haven't got any batteries in it today but I'm going to let them all go. So it's just for example what the stuff that you need. Alrighty, let's get into them. So we're at the spot and basically when you get here you won't see many but get your bread and start burling them up. 
And as you can see, they're starting to feed already. Look, here they come. Look at them all. So you get them feeding. You don't want to overfeed them. Just like that. Now. On my rod, I'm just going to tear off a little tiny chunk. Just big enough that they can swallow it in one gulp. Because you want to set that hook as soon as it goes into their mouth. So, I don't know if you can see, but just about that big. Alright. Okay, here we go. There he is, bang, got one. First of the morning. Perfect size little, oh, fell off. Perfect size little jack bait or mul um, flathead bait. Drop him in the bucket, lid on. Yeah, you wanna catch one of these? Okay. And this is a good fun to do with the kids because just bait up that tiny bit of bread. Once they get feeding, you'll get heaps of them. Here we go. Comes another one. Boom, there's a bigger one. There's another one trying to jump out. Oh, they're trying to jump out. So that's two in about 10 minutes. And you can keep these alive for a while. Here we go. Ezra, do you want to go with this? I'm going to loosen this drag right off so he has trouble. Here, Ez, come here. Have a go. I'm going to get a fish quick here. Here we go, got one. Here we go. Wind him up slowly. Yeah, that's it. Ring him up. Got him. Ring him. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. That's it. Keep walking. Let Dad grab it. Oh, there he is. There's another one. Yeah, that's three. You put him in the bucket. Okay, I'll put the bucket in the grass so he doesn't fall in the water. No, no, don't open it. Oh, we've lost the radar. That's not going to be good. Also, yeah, another tip would be to leave your bucket near the, not near the water because they do get out and they will get back in the water. There we go. You High five. Bang. Get another one. There's a big one. You can almost use that for a small dewy bait. Estuary dew. Definitely. Big flathead would eat that too, but that's like 120 mil. Easy big flathead. Do you want to put him in the bucket, mate? Come here. Hold him. Hold him tight. That's it. Put him in. There we go. That's five. Look, I'm feeding on the bread. Oh, watch this. I'll drop this in. He'll go straight by it. Little piece. Okay, as soon as he swallows it. Bang, got him. There's another one, Ez. I think that's seven. Number seven. Okay, I think that's all we need. Oh, you want to put him in the bucket? Oh, get him in the bucket. Yep, put your hand on him flat and then grab him tight. That's it. Alright, no, he won't hurt you. Quick, get him before he goes. He needs to get in the water. 
These guys are going mad, that's why you need a bucket, a lid. Chuck him in. Good work. Alright. And then you can just barely him up. Look at them. They're gonna go mad here. Some bigger ones down there you could probably use for dewy baits. Mr. Percival. Come back, Mr. Percival. He's trying to get the mullet that we're burling up. Wants to eat the fishy. We just put some bread on a hook. Yeah. yeah. And uh, snagged the brim out of it. Oh! There he is. Get him up. Pull him up. Oh, look at that. Nice brim. Yeah, put your hand on him flat. Now you should be able to pick him up from the belly. No, put your foot nice and flat. Yeah, up under his head. Yeah, that's it, up under there. Now pinch him like this. Yep. Yeah. Um, Try again. Um, so you go up under there and under there like that. That's it, slide him under your hand. Right, it's hard to pick him up by the tail. Try again. That's it. So a big, big release. Oh, there he goes. So we're going to release them now. All right. Yeah. If you want to keep them, you got to change that water a bit. But um, yeah, we got seven all up. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Go chuck them in. Let them go one by one. But yeah, you'll have to change the water. Some guys set up a bigger tank and they, um, that's it. They'll basically have a tank at home with a bilge pump in it and they can keep them for weeks like that. So um, it's just how you want to do it. But yeah, thanks again for watching another episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, another free bait episode. So we'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah. Keep chucking them in. Another one, let's get another one. Big chuck. Whoa. Okay, last one, we'll get him back home. Here we go, big chuck. Whoosh. There he goes. They're all going home. <laughs> High five the camera, knuckles. Knuckles. Peace. Peace.